either poop or, or chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> or one of those lava cakes. Ow. Morning. So it is now 4.05 in the morning on Tuesday, November 15th. Okay, so I'm very tired in this video, clearly, because I already made a mistake. I said it's Tuesday, but it's actually Thursday. I'm going to drive to the hospital now. Today's my second day of my surgery clerkship. I'm excited because today is my 24-hour shift, which can sometimes be 28 hours because I have to stay for some activities tomorrow on Friday. Even though it's Thursday today, I'm going to come back home on Friday. Some people want to see a day in my life, so today is, I thought, the perfect day because I'll be at the hospital for much longer. Let's just see how this goes. All right, let's go. The streets are empty. Except for city buses and taxis. And me. Okay, so I just got to the hospital i'm gonna go inside it is like 30 degrees it's freezing i'm gonna do my best to try to record stuff we have rounds at six and it's almost five now so five to six we're gonna look up the patient's vitals and then we round from six until usually seven also i didn't know i don't know if anyone knows this but surgeons walk really fast and i'm from new york and i thought i walked fast <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get my steps in for the day. I'm gonna go inside now. Bye. Okay, so this is our changing room for scrubs. You just go, put your card, and then you pick which one you want. And then you go and change. Oh, oh, oh. That is so hot. I just burned my butt on the radiator. Hey everyone, I wanted to give you an update. It's been a couple of hours. Um, and uh, just kidding. It has been 19 hours. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Everything just like really went out of control. So right now it's 12.44 p.m. Yeah. It's midnight. And we're gonna keep going until we drop. A lot of people got snowed in in the hospital. So the rooms that we were supposed to use to sleep in the call rooms, because we're on call, we can't use them because all the people from the storm are using them. So that's okay. So today was pretty good. We did a, a lap. We did a lap goalie this morning. No, no, it was yesterday. What did we do this morning? No, we did a lap. Happy. Happy. Yeah, we did a laparoscopic appendectomy. <laughs> After lunch, I went to the next case. And then the last case was reversal of a. Colostomy. It was a colostomy reversal where someone had a hole right here where their um, intestine was sticking to the outside and they would pull all the fluid out. And we took it and reattached it to his rectum. It was fascinating, absolutely fascinating. I was just in shock with all the different procedures and the tools and the different ways that they were able to ensure that it was like actually connected, even though there were like two pouches. It was like so cool. We got in at four. And we finished at 8 30. So right now we're still on night float or overnight. Kinda of tired, but I have energy and I have no other option if I'm tired because I can't go sleep in those beds. Because other people need them because they're actually gonna work tomorrow. Alright, thanks. I hope the audio is good. If not, Peter, make sure to uh, write the things out. Nope. I don't even know if this is on me, but it's too late. Welcome back to whatever this is. We've been in the hospital for 20 hours. This is my friend Julia. She brought me salad. It's literally her salad and her fork, but I'm so hungry. Did you see anything cool? Tell the people. 
Did you console them? Yeah, but I was really close with my sorry Aw, that's nice. Aren't you allowed to cry with patients? I think you are. We were told by the palliative care teams that you can cry with patients as long as you're not crying more than them. Then I just saw a C-section. So I was happy. Baby boy. Sis. You popped it in the body? Yeah. And it was like literally chocolate. Okay, I'm literally eating. Like lava, you know like those lava cakes? Yeah. That, that's what happened. But like- Oozing? It was like oozing? It was so crazy. I thought, you know when they say it's like a chocolate fist, you're like, wow, these pathologists have nothing else to call this. But then when you see it, that's the first thing that you think of. Either poop or, or chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> It was literally so big. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. It was the size of like maybe three to four hearts. No way. I know. Was she pregnant? No, but she looked like she was pregnant. Dang, Julia, really, you can't say that. No, no, like, okay. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I saw an attending today and she had a, a bump about to say congrats. And I was like, wait, hold up. But it's not like she was fat. It just looked like she... Was no, pregnant. Because it was so big. Yeah. No one gets so tired. You can't see. Tomorrow's your birthday? Yeah! Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Julia. Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> Yo, we're loopy. 121. <laughs> Alright, you are sleepy. And I'm getting sleepy too. I've been out here pulling my car out for like 10 minutes. And every time I get one layer down, another layer falls, which is like a really good life testament about like your problems in life. Once you solve one, the rest of them come flying in. Look at this car, it's just, <sighs> okay. It was much worse than that. Don't act like it's nothing. Look at this Santa Claus thing I got going. What a I know how to diagnose and treat it, which is so sad. Oh my gosh! Wow. I'm soaking. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I smell. I'm dirty. My teeth have a thin film on them. My nose is dripping. I ate someone else's salad with their fork. There's a lot of lows. <laughs> and they all happen in one night. Here's an update. My socks are wet, my ear is itching, my hair is so greasy that I could style it in any direction. My lips are chapped to the max, my feet are aching, my car barely made it home. Thank God. Well, let's talk about it. So a lot of you guys have been messaging me asking me to do a day in my life kind of video and while that would be extremely difficult with the kind of content that is happening at the, at the hospital because of patient privacy. 
I did try to record something about my first 24 hours completely in a hospital and just finished. I'm fresh off of that. I just walked into my house. This 24 hours was actually more interesting than I expected because it did snow. Today was yesterday, I guess. It was a very long day. I woke up at 3 and right now it's 9.30. I just got home. I haven't watched it yet, but if the audio or the video quality is not as great as some of my other videos, you can check those out here or subscribe here. I apologize, but I just did my best. Please just excuse it and give me a little margin of mercy. If you enjoy it, please let me know down below. I appreciate all of your comments and I respond to every single one. Even if I don't respond yet, I read them. It's just, it takes me a while to respond. I wanna actually write something kind. One of our patients, uh, we needed to get an ABG on them. So I just sat with him and we just started talking. It was like a really good time. We, we spoke for like maybe an hour, an hour and a half, which was like really cool for me because that's, why I went into medicine. I want to know people's stories. I want to hear what they have to offer because I think, I truly think you can make a biography, like a biopic movie on everyone's life because people always have such fascinating stories to tell. And he told me so many cool things. I asked him, I was like, he was like this really rugged big man with like a deep voice. And I asked him, I was like, where are you from? And he looked at me, he goes, China. <laughs> His face was so, and he's like, nah. I'm from Poland. He started telling me, he's like, you know, you have a very nice face. And I said, oh, okay, thank you. And he said, and a nice smile, nice heart. If you want to be actor, you could be actor. And I was like, oh, I'm well, found. <laughs> okay, so I don't even know what I'm saying anymore at this point because my brain is full of mush. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really means a lot to me. What are your thoughts on hospital life? Do you think students work too much? Do you think we work too little? Do you think residents work too much? Do you think residents work too little? How about doctors? Do they work too much too little? Do, have you ever had a really good or really awful experience with any one of us in health, in the health professions? Let me know down below. I'd love to read your stories and maybe I'll make a whole video about the really cool stories that you all share with me down below. So let me say goodbye. I don't even know what I'm saying. And as always, be safe, be strong, be swagged. God bless you and me, because I'm tired. And I'll see you in the next one. Next one, next one, next one. <gasps> Bye, adios. Okay, let me just, let me just walk over there. Just, just one second, just. Okay, just. I'm very tired, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> When I was talking to my residents, they were like, how old are you? And I was like, how old do you think? And then they said, 12. And I said, 13. I actually said 13. And they laughed. I'm an Aries, which I learned is the very first sign. So we're like the leaders. If you read everything about Aries, it's like, <laughs> like everyone should be this one. I see nothing wrong with Aries. We're Aries? <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> What are your personal and professional goals for the upcoming year? Personal goals? Examples could be like, I want to commit to saying one kind thing to someone every day. Did you say one? For this year? Well, no one asked me. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get it. <laughs> what? Scorpio's traits. You are distrusting, jealous, secretive, and violent. <laughs> I'm about to leave the room. You dislike passive people? Oh, okay, that's I'm passive. One of our patients, uh, we needed to get an ABG on them, which is an arterial blood gas. You just want to see the oxygen and carbon dioxide content of the blood. Sorry, my brain is very spacey right now. And always. No, not always. What am I talking to? You. Subscribe. <laughs> I'm dripping snow sweat. Okay. Overall summary of being trapped in a hospital for over 24 hours. I'd say thank you next. Thank you.